Yvonne here, and I'm trying to figure out how to do this, and I wanted to show you a presentation that I gave to fourth graders at Cedar Park Elementary School here in Minnesota. <clears throat> it was a group of kids that wanted to invent something, and their teachers asked me to um, come and talk to them about invention, and especially as an engineer and an inventor myself, they thought that would be a great thing for them. So this is the slideshow that I showed to them. The presentation is called Invention of a Leg, a Love Story. It's a story of how my husband Troy and I developed an artificial leg or prosthesis for swimming and diving. The story starts with Tai Chi class. This is where Troy and I met. Um, here we are with our grandmaster, our Sifu, me, and Troy. He had long hair back then. Anyway, when Troy came to the school, um, I decided that even though we were both engineers, I could date him anyway. So while we were talking, eventually he said, let's go to the Caribbean for a beach vacation. Wouldn't that be fun? Sand, ocean, warmth? I was less than thrilled because since I have an artificial leg right here or a prosthesis, beaches are not the most fun for me. This is why. This is my day at the beach. If I'm sitting over here in the hot sun, it's hot. Um, my real leg, which is inside of the prosthesis, is usually in a knitted sock, wool or something like that. So it gets hot. Then there's all of the sand. Walking in the sand is not fun because sand fills the shell that's around the fake foot and it gets really heavy. Also, the sand's not good for the foot itself. So that's not a good part of walking on the beach either. Then, if I actually wanted to go into this cool ocean, I can't take my prosthesis with me. I have to take it off, leave it at the chair, crawl over the hot sand, go into the ocean, and that actually might be fun, even if I only had one leg. However, then I would have to crawl out, all wet, across the sand, and pray that no one has stolen my leg, which costs nearly as much as a car. After Troy understood the situation, he said, no problem, let's make you a leg. So I thought, hmm, that might actually work, because after all, legs don't grow on trees. Someone has to make them. So this is what we started with. The first bumblebee leg was some Kevlar and carbon fiber. And Troy modeled um, it after a bow, as in a bow and arrow, to use it to um, point the toe, but then also to absorb the force of walking. The foot he crafted to look like an actual foot, which we don't see here because I broke it um, pretty much on the first, first few times out, but not before I experienced what it was like to actually walk on the beach and feel the ocean. And it was pretty thrilling. So I said, let's try it again. This is the second one. This one was powered by carbon dioxide cartridges that you get from a bicycle shop. When you put the air or the carbon dioxide into this, it pushes the leg into this walking position. When you release it, it pulls it up and it points the toe so that I can go swimming. Not the easiest to use, but good enough for me to get certified for scuba diving. So we just kept going. One of the problems was that the foot was too stiff. It didn't break, but it was too stiff. So we decided to use the one from an old prosthesis. So we did this. We also used a cable to release and uh, reposition the foot. Again, not the prettiest, but it was good enough to go to Hawaii. So we just keep improving it. Our last improvement um, has been patented and we're still waiting to hear from it. But, and we tested that on our honeymoon. Yes, we are geeks. But we continue to improve it so that I can swim and dive and hopefully others can benefit from it. Stay tuned for future developments.